Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Recently, OpenAI released its real-time API. Real-time API from OpenAI simply enables you to create multimodal applications which will work in real-time with the power of AI. Earlier, what we had to do, we had to create a similar voice assistant experiences by collating and combining multiple models, multiple technologies, and it had to pass through multiple hops. So OpenAI's real-time API tries to resolve that to lower the latency and to improve the user's experience. And a lot of tooling and new frameworks are appearing around that. And I just stumbled upon this framework, which is called as 10 framework. I actually went to their GitHub repo and there they have this something called as 10 agent which they say that it's the world's first real-time multimodal agent integrated with the openai's real-time api rtc and feature weather checks web search vision and real uh, rag capabilities which which is retrieval augmented generation now they also provide some instructions to get it installed locally and i have tried it out doesn't work so this is their github repo and i will also walk you through it as what i tried and how you can try out maybe i missed something but the process of installing it is not only quite cumbersome still even if you install it locally you would need multiple api keys from i think at least three different providers and that is all paid option so be aware of that and that is just for starting it out so before I move forward, let me introduce you to Agent QL who are sponsoring this video. Agent QL is a query language which turns any web page into data source quickly, easily and at scale. And you can use their Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright. It is, an, it is a robust alternative, AI powered one to fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors and I will drop the link to it in video's description. Okay, let's go back to this 10 framework. So let's first check its installation, which is quite cumbersome. So just scroll down here. There are a lot of theory. So let's cut it out. So these are the three API keys, which you will require. As you can see some Agora app ID and certificate, then you would have to go to Microsoft Azure's cloud and get these API keys. And of course, open AI's API key. So if I have to use this, um, yes, they're combining multiple things in one framework. But anyway, I'm not sure what the mode is here because OpenAI might release the same thing which they are doing in few weeks or couple of months. But anyway, once you have these API keys, you need to install Docker and Node and the system requirements are quite low, which is quite good. And you don't need any GPU because it is all API based. And then you would have to change out some of the convict file, use Docker to build it up, which is quite simple. But I am facing a lot of errors in the Docker containers when I try to bring it up. So I just stopped using it. And then I went on to their website, which is this. I clicked on try it now, just selected my username. And there I am, where you can see that there is an agent on the left hand side. And then we have our microphone. You can also enable your camera. I'm not going to do it at the moment. Um, so if you just let me switch on my camera, uh, sorry, my microphone and you can speak in it. It's a multimodal. So it is going to attach it is itself to your camera, to your microphone. Now, if I just use it and speak something, hello, what is weather like in Sydney, Australia? Okay, so let me connect here. I'm clicking on connect. Okay, agent is now connected. So I'm just going to ask it, okay. Hey, I'm 10 agent with OpenAI Real-Time API. Anything I can help you with? What is the weather like in Sydney, Australia at the moment? In Sydney, Australia right now, it's about 18 degrees Celsius, 64.5 Fahrenheit. There's a gentle breeze coming from the north, northeast, at around 9.6 miles per hour, 15.5 kilometers per hour. And you can expect a fair amount of cloud cover with a humidity of 
Stay dry out there. And then you can disconnect it from the top. You see, I just clicked on disconnect it. And then you can also change the voices. You go male or female. I don't know if female is here. There is. So you can go with the male one. And this is a channel name, which there is few rooms there. I'm not sure. Sometimes I feel that this is a bit slow because maybe there is a lot of load there. But if you look here, this is quite good. No doubt about that. Uh, it works like a charm on this one. But if you are using it locally, you have to use those API keys. This could get fairly expensive very soon. Anyway, but if you have the budget, you want to use it, you know, feel free to do so. Now, you can use your own system camera and talk with it. Let me try to ask it to create some code and maybe. Uh, so this was a real time which I showed you. Let's do something else. Hey, I'm 10 can, agent with. Great. What's on your mind today? Can you draw me an image of a tiger? I can't create images, but I can definitely help you find one. Would you like okay. me to search? For yeah, sure. Right. Go ahead. I found some great images of tigers for you. You can browse and download high quality tiger images from websites like Unsplash, Pexels or Getty Images. Just search for tiger images on these platforms and you'll find a wide variety of beautiful photos to yeah. choose. So you see, and the cool thing is that I have noticed that as soon as I speak, it stops uh, talking, which is quite good. And of course, what I am speaking, he it is just noting it down and then following it through. I'm here and following you. What would you like to talk about or do next? Can you write me a Python script to draw a Mandelbrot set and also run it? Sure. Here's a simple Python script that draws a Mandelbrot set. To run it, you'll need to have MATLAB installed. You can install it using pip install matlotplib if you don't have it already. Here's the script, import number and color into mendelbrot.py. Define the function to calculate the Mandelbrot set. Dev Mandelbrot. This image of the Mandelbrot fractal of size hw hw half y megapixels and max iterate. Two times the probability. So I have just disconnected it. Look, this experience is so good. That is why I was quite keen to get it installed, but again, maybe very early days of a project, so they might improve this experience um, in a bit. I will drop also drop the link to it in video's description. But how good would that be, or whenever the time comes for this tool or any other tool, that instead of giving it those paid API keys, we would have our own local models for TTS, like F5 or any other, and we will be using that all private, all local. And then uh, we won't have to pay to these API providers, which could become really expensive. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.